there and welcome to our lecture one on introduction to remote sensing and special analysis with an open source software. The topics for today are is to understand remote sensing, showing you a real life examples of using satellite images for different applications in different industries. Let me start with showing the striking example of the drawing of the RLC as depicted by the Landsat program spanning from 1986 uh, till 2018. So what we can see here is an animation which is done with a multiple Landsat images over this time period and which clearly can be used to show and a striking environmental change that has happened within this part of the world. So one of the very common applications of satellite remote sensing is environmental monitoring and environmental management. My second example is already from a different part of the industry. Now we are talking about using satellite remote sensing to map urban expansion and to look at the changes in urban development. So here we can see also an animation based on the Landsat images spanning from 1984 till 2018 over the city of Las Vegas in the United States of America. Just by looking on this interesting animation you can see how the city grew from a small size to third largest city in the United States in 2010. Its population has also tripled since uh, the 1980s. So urban expansion, urban development studies and city monitoring is one of the very common applications of satellite remote sensing. Let me show you another example. This time we are going to look at the different sensor sensor called Iconos. This is a commercial satellite and here we are looking at the part of the Sumatra island in Indonesia. So the first image shows the um, Sumatra part of the Sumatra island over the province Aceh in January 2003 on the 10th of January and the second image shows uh, um, the same area over 29th of December 2004. So what we can see here is a, a striking impact of tsunami that hit it area of this province uh, between January and December 2003 and 2004. What we can see is that uh, the tsunami was so devastating that the city that was located here in the province was almost destroyed with only a few um, buildings. I think this circle, circular building here indicates the church and this main square uh, has remained. The resolution of Akanas images is um, in this case one meter and this is um, appropriate um, resolution to map this kind of changes and to support disaster risk uh, reduction and disaster management applications. My third example is my following example is uh, looking at the monitoring of the forest fires using a modest, uh, moderate resolution imaging spectrometer of NASA um, program uh, satellite. Here we see the May 2009 image and uh, on this image which covers the part of Mongolia and Russia we can see active fires which are mapped with the red and the smoke of this fire so there was a very strong uh, eastward uh, winds therefore uh, this whitish patterns on the um, image they are not actually um, clouds as you may think it's actually a smoke the following example is again from a um, NASA program. Here we are looking at Terra Aster images from 2007th of, um, uh, from 27th of May 2001. And here we are looking over the volcano Mount Tarnaki and Egmont National Park in New Zealand. This is one of the most beautiful volcanoes in New Zealand and uh, we can look at it also from above and to monitor environmental changes within this national park. 
My last example shows you how we can use remote sensing in agricultural application. And this image is again from NASA program EOIN ALI captured on the 9th of September 2010. In this picture we can see the intensive irrigated fields, here the circle of shape of those irrigated fields as well as um, other cropland areas along the Snake River in the USA. So this image could be used, for example, to create agricultural crop map showing different crop types or showing crop intensity usage within this area. My uh, following example demonstrate the application of satellite remote sensing to, for meteorological applications. And here we are looking at the Hurricane Eager in 2010 that developed in September above the Cape Verde Islands in Atlantic Ocean. Here we are looking at the MODIS Aqua uh, satellite image uh, which was captured on the 13th of September 2010. So why is remote sensing used? I think now you have already kind of an understanding and first ideas, but let's talk a little bit more about its possible applications. Remote sensing used in climate change research. So all these reports and articles in BBC, CNN and other big um, uh, news channels uh, citing climate change are always um, based on the climate models and one of the input to these climate models is uh, satellite remote sensing data. Remote sensing is used for disaster management emergency response so when for example mapping earthquake uh, damages, tsunami impacts as we saw in the examples in this lecture and many many others uh, applications within this uh, domain. We can use remote sensing to monitor the certification process for land degradation analysis to map soil quality. So everything that uh, is concerned to, with land is can be used, um, could be used with to monitor and map uh, with remote sensing. We use remote sensing for risk analysis and disaster preparedness. We can use remote sensing to assist irrigated water management, to monitor uh, snow and ice cover, and as well as uh, for agricultural and forest management applications, geospatial and environmental sciences, and so on. So 